The Apache NiFi user interface is simple to use and provides everything you need to visualize, edit, monitor, and administer data flows. Upon navigating to the UI, you see a blank canvas, and this is where you can build your data flow. The different parts of the UI are the components toolbar across the top left, the status bar below the toolbar, the navigate palette on the left hand side, the operate palette just below the navigate palette, the global menu in the upper right corner, and the search field below that. Let's take a closer look at each of these. The components toolbar is made up of items that you can drag onto the canvas to build your data flow. These include processors, input ports, output ports, process groups, remote process groups, funnels, templates, and labels. For example, if I want to add a template, I just pull it down from the components toolbar onto the canvas and click add. Now, here's a tip. If you ever have multiple things on your canvas that you want to delete, simply hold down the shift key and drag a selection box around it, then click delete. The status bar shows how many threads are currently active and how much data is currently in the data flow. It also shows how many remote process groups are transmitting, how many are not transmitting, and how many processors are running, stopped, invalid, or disabled. Finally, it shows a timestamp indicating when all this information was last refreshed. The Navigate palette contains a bird's eye view of everything on the canvas. You can see that I have some items off to the right that are not in my view. I can use this Fit button to zoom everything into the center of my view. I can also use the Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons in the Navigate palette, and I can do the same thing with the wheel on my mouse. This actual button will zoom everything into a readable level on my canvas. The Operate palette provides buttons with which you can interact with components on the canvas. For example, if you select a processor, you can then use buttons in the Operate palette to interact with it, such as starting it or stopping it, or you can even copy and paste it. With both the Navigate and the Operate palettes, you can collapse them to provide more working space on the canvas. When you're working with process groups, you can double click them to go into them and then go to the level that you desire. Then in the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll see breadcrumbs that show you where you are in the data flow. You can click these links to get back to the level that you wanna be at. The search bar provides an easy way to find anything in the data flow. For example, a processor, process group, connection, or property. Just type whatever you're looking for and see if it appears in the list, then select it and the UI will go right to it. The global menu shows a lot of other things that are available in the user interface. They each deserve a video to themselves. But the one to check out first is the help page, which shows all the documentation that's available. This is a good place to get started when you're learning Apache NiFi. This concludes the overview of the Apache NiFi user interface. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.